Right, we're back onto the Chubb Cruisers again. Now, you'll know I made this cutaway not too long back. And I was a bit disappointed when I made it because this particular cruiser doesn't have the monitor lever. Now, if you don't know what a monitor lever is, I'll show you. Right, I've just bought this one. Now, when you turn the key round, hold it that way, you'll see the lever at the bottom go round. See? Now, that's called the monitor lever. And that's because if you're picking it and you're halfway through it, you can't get the key out. It will trap the key in. The key will only come out when the bolt's fully thrown. See, it drops back round. But not all cruisers have the monitor lever. And I'm trying to work out what years do and what years don't. Now this is a 1979. This one's got the monitor lever. This one hasn't got the monitor lever. I can't remember the year of that now because it was underneath the... Uh, the keyway cover, but I can go back to the previous video before I cut this open and check that out. And this one also hasn't got a monitor lever. Watch, see nothing in there. But this old one, which is the ram rivet type, has. So basically, I'm just gonna do a little bit of a survey and anybody who's got a chub cruiser, could you just put in the comments below the number on the button? Can't even see that one. That's 579. And whether it's got the monitor lever or it hasn't. It's just a little project I'm doing to find out why some of them have got the monitor lever and others haven't. So I'm gonna do another little project. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the cover off this I'm not going to make a cutaway. I've only just got this lock actually come this morning. As soon as I realised this didn't have the money to leave her in, I wanted one with. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the inners out of this, put the, uh, get my words out. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the levers out of this one and I'm going to put the levers inside this one and swap them over. And then I'm going to put the front back on this and put some new rivets in. So this will be, it won't be a cutaway and I think it'll be a functional lock again but only the levers inside that one will be in here and then the levers in here will be in that one so when we pick it again we can see the monitor lever so that's the plan so please let me know if you've got a cruiser what number it is and which ones have the monitor lever and which ones don't so right I got this this morning and I have picked it open already so we're just going to pick it open on camera and then we'll finish it We'll, we'll just pick it open on camera and then we'll finish the video off. That's what I'm trying to say. And then on a future video, I'm going to show you how I've took this cover off and swapped the levers open. So first of all, let's see if we can get it. Now this one didn't take as long as that other one. So I'm hoping I can do it in my hand. It's more as a, a demo lock that I wanted, but when I did that cutaway, to be honest, before I chopped the lock apart, I should have checked if it had the money to leave her in. And I've just showed you now a simple way of finding out. You just look in the keyway when you turn in the key and you'll see it. Let me get that open. Don't tell me I've caught the wire. <laughs> yeah, so we get it open. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do. That's the next project. Or oh, just show you the key for that one. It only came with one key and the key was a bit bent. That's the bit on the key. But yeah, it all works okay. So that's it for today. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you again next time. Try a bit.